This is my tutorial video for how to install the CM7 to a micro SD card for use with a Nook Color. Um, this will probably be my trippiest uh, tutorial video ever because I'm going to be splicing back and forth between video here and then a tutorial video of how to follow along on the computer. So <laughs> bear with me. Uh, I should emphasize I have no affiliation whatsoever with the CM7 and have just learned how to do this from following the instructions online that will be linked to with this video. Um, so this is just kind of walking you through how I installed it to a micro SD card for use with a Nook Color. Um, I have actually two Nook Colors here. This one already is has already gone through the procedure. This is the CM, CM7 uh, interface. It's it's very optimized for tablet use. Um, uh, Google Market is installed at this point in the procedure. Um, basically, it's it's just like any other Android tablet on the market. Um, the Nook Color that it's currently running on, um, it does not need to be rooted or it can be an unrooted, fresh out of the box Nook Color. That's one of the nice things about uh, installing the CM7 to the micro SD card. If I were to turn it off and open the back and take the SD card out and boot it back up, you'd be back to the Barnes & Noble uh, stock software. So this is the Nook color that we'll be working off of for fresh, uh, brand new install. And again, this process doesn't change anything on your Nook Color, but you do have to go through this process once in order to install the CM7 to your micro SD card. So you're going to need a micro SD card, um, which is this right here. Uh, I went ahead and got a 32 gigabyte from uh, Amazon. I'll link also to that one. Apparently, the performance of these things vary widely. Uh, I haven't had any problem with this particular brand, so that's what we'll be using. Uh, you will need an adapter. Just slide that in there. And then you're going to plug your micro SD card into your computer. 